So guys, oh. we are here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Sylvia and Corey Bichanga. That's us. Yeah, today we are here with our buddy, the yeah, photographer. <laughs> He's taking guys. pictures left, right and center. Okay guys, uh, listen to this. This is a guy that when I sit down, when he sits down and when I'm standing, yeah, yeah our height are the same. <laughs> the guy is very tall, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So, do you want to say something to our people? Uh, oh. You want me to speak? Yeah. Are you seriously? Speak your mind. Oh, there are people. Open She's just heart, said, she said if I have something to tell. Yeah, open people. your heart. Speak. So, uh, you, you are people. These are your people? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, guys, uh, I love you all. I've been seeing you, supportive to them. Uh, these are amazing people. They're amazing friends. I know I've been, uh, I've been uh, how would you say, off the scene. Uh, off camera, out of the off, picture, off, out of the picture, out of the video because i um, being away from them. But today we are together and uh, we're going to support Andrew. Yeah, we are yeah. supporting Andrew the villager. Today is the burial for his grandfather. I saw a comment coming in, someone was asking, Has uh, the gr grandpa of Andrew to Andrew been buried? So not today. yet. So today being on Saturday, mm -hmm. to be precise, on Saturday, uh, he will be laid to rest be, today. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go, guys, and see a village funeral. All right. Bye. I love you. I give you everything you want me to. Think about it. If I could, I put down the moon. So guys, we've just arrived here and there's quite a few cars here and vans looks like a lot of people showed up so let's go i'm here with the men in black they are in mourning but actually in a lot of um kenyan funerals you find that people wear white um white dresses as a sign of hope yes how are you i'm fine I'm also okay. Hello. So they're greeting their friends. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yes. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. We are busy cooking. I see garlics. Yeah. You're cutting garlics. Yeah, do you like this one? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Here's the kitchen. Hi, how are you? Hi. You're cooking. Here is Kumawiki. Hey, you've cut. My friend, how are you? I'm good, Sylvia. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you too. This is water for Ugali. Wow. And this one? For skuma. Oh. For meat. For meat. Oh. So here there's more cooking. They're cooking with tomatoes and onions. Look at all this meat, guys. Here they've already cooked cabbage. They've cooked fish, fresh from the lake. Here they are cooking some things. So here is Andrew's grandpa's home. And the funeral is taking place on the other side in this field. 
Yokani mota yote juu ni uundi juu angi juu uundi. Wanu kwa sikuweka kiwa. Lakini yokani mon kikupatu yembele waka. So guys, we are just done right there, and the next step is burying him, yeah? Yeah, uh, we are done with the service, and uh, viewing the body, that is always the last uh, process uh, before they take the body to the grave. Yeah, so they will be bringing the body this way to bury by the house, so we are just waiting for them to come on this side. I'll try to give you guys a good view of how they do it, yeah? The African way, yes. Yeah, so this is, this is the new building that uh, is being brought up. So that is uh, Andrew's uh, mom. Oh. So it is supposed to be the kitchen. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this, this one is supposed to be brought down. This is the old kitchen. They yeah, built a new kitchen. kitchen. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So as you can see, um, this side is where the grave is so babe can you explain according to luo culture why is the grave here the reason as to why the grave is always in most of the compound the grave is always next to the house the main house 
especially the bedroom yeah so you find that this opposite this wall is his wife's bedroom where this window is this is her bedroom so he had to, to yeah it used to be their bedroom yeah. so he had to be buried beside the bedroom yeah so even if uh god forbid granny dies mm. uh, she'll be buried next to the grandpa here next to the grandpa here yeah. yeah so it's not like they go to a cemetery or anything they, they always bury on their family uh, land yeah the only time uh, a body can be taken to a cemetery is when the, the disease mm. doesn't have the family or the family has denied the body um. so the body is just there so or maybe the disease doesn't have a, a land mm. even in the village if they don't have a land so there's no no, so now, buried. okay. So they'll be buried in, in a cemetery. Of which there's one, if you go down this side. There's a road that you, you saw it. If you go down mm -hmm. the road, there's a, a graveyard. Just a cemetery few, down there. Yeah, cemetery. Some few kilometers. Okay. That is a public cemetery. But you find most people are not being buried there. Maybe people without families or something. Or even maybe outsiders. Mm -hmm. Like uh, people who have come from foreigners, foreigners yeah. Yeah. And they don't have they can't go back they don't have families uh -huh. they'll just be buried there buried by there. friends yes. okay thanks for explaining that i thought it was interesting when you were telling me about it so i thought our people will also find it interesting because different tribes have different ways of right even your tribe is different than different this tribe, tribe mm. so you find that uh, now they, they bring the body to Okay. But it's usually the pastors are in front then. Uh -huh. the the so you see the pastors are in front, then it's the family oh, with the, family the body. Is behind. Yeah, behind the casket, I think so. So you want to know what kama wa? When it comes out, there's a flower. In the low, 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 in the I think we are going to pray so that we go to the border.
So we are here with our Luo buddy now. This is his tribe, his people. So he can tell us all the cultural things, yeah? Um, okay, we have a lot of things about the country, so I don't know what exactly. So after they buried the body here, everyone moved from the gravesite into the house and they were singing inside there. So our question to you is, what is that one that they're doing? So uh, it's like uh, after they are buried, like for the woman whose husband just died, mm -hmm. so she has to be taken inside the house mm -hmm. for some blessing because thereafter she will be staying there alone. She needs to be comforted. She needs to feel that uh, a warmth from the fellow Christians. And also the, the key thing is for a blessing that when she remains there alone, uh, the Lord will be with her. It's just like uh, when uh, someone is uh, married, newly married, they have to be taken to their house for some blessing. Same to this. Remember, this is uh, the final wedding here now. Uh, that now she's beating by to uh, bye bye to the husband, and she will be remaining alone. So she has to be accompanied with some blessings. So yeah, like you said, it's when someone moves into a new house and people come to bless the house and pray. Because it's now a new chapter. Yes. They're taking her there to bless exactly. the house and pray for her. Exactly. And, oh. Yes. And then that concludes the day. That concludes the day because you know when she's just left like that from the grave point, they are done with it. It's it's like uh, bring a double loneliness to this mm. person. But to feel that togetherness and also not to feel alone, uh, it's like we are with you, and the Lord is that's above nice. us. So that's why they have to do that. That's nice. Yeah. That's really caring. So I like that. Yeah. So guys, I think um, they've already finished singing. They are doing some praying now in the house. And we are going to take some early supper here. And then it will conclude today's vlog. So uh, thanks. Bro, probably to you, you're saying it's going to be early supper. But I know some people it will be like appetizer. Uh, so that they can go home and, and, and have cook. some other uh, heavy meals. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. So stick around. I'll show you guys what we are going to be eating. And that will conclude the vlog. Thank you, Weekly. Okay, thank you too. It has been uh, stressing, causing us tiresome nights. Mm -hmm times we even run dry like it has milked us a lot but um, what I can say that uh, I thank God for his faithfulness um, he has made it to be what it is uh, today grandpa my namesake pastor Andrew has been laid to rest as you are seeing him being lowered down to the grave and uh, being covered the soil everything being sealed is going back to the clay the soil where he came from that memory and also the good memories about his life they still ring in my mind but what I have to do or what we have to do as a family is just to let go of everything so what I can say is that yeah God has done his deed and, uh, also to my friends and to my family they've also played their part and also to you that are watching us we really appreciate you because you've also supported us a lot through your prayers through your advices through your finance everything we really appreciate you and may god almighty continuously bless you abundantly not forgetting about the bichangas um I thank God for bringing them to our lives because I never knew that I would stand alone all through this, but the Bichangas have always been with us all through, even in late in the night, Sylvia allowing her husband to be with us late night, which no woman would always allow, uh, Corey leaving his work, his commitments to be with us. 
it is a blessing and um, I can say that it is more than a friend it's more than what a friend could do even more than a brother could do but he had taken that burden to be with us all through may God continuously bless that family for us we also have a number of them weekly who has also been a buddy to us he'd also done a lot keeping us advised always taking on us yeah and also to the church and to the youtube family as a whole we really appreciate you may god bless you as you continue living through this i don't know what much to say i don't have more much to say but what i can generalize with is a big thank you to all thank you and may god bless you Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now am found was blind but now I see twas grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour i first be one thing's true never asked for nothing